G'day everyone, my name is Daniel Legrady and welcome to another Wasabi Cars video and uh, I'm up very very early, I'm at the Mitsubishi Gallery and I'm just going to do a quick walk around just to show you guys first impressions and I haven't seen anything beyond this entrance area so um, let's go for a walk. Okay guys, well let's start with the, the old cars and uh, this will be a semi very very quick walk through Mitsubishi A from uh, 1917. Wow, four-wheel drive Mitsubishi from 1935. That is a very special looking thing. The old days Pajero. Wow, look at that guys. A Henry J from Mitsubishi. But that is a very smart looking thing. Vagabond is on the badge there. Hillman Minx. I've seen one of these before in the sepia collection that was a dark blue one i never showed you guys so our next mitsubishi colt 600 convertible the wheels look a bit modern wouldn't you say uh we're uh, from oh reincarnated in 1991 interesting and uh from 1962 also from 19 no 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 oh, this one's from 1962 they're both 1962 1961, I saw one of these also in the Sepia collection. Mitsubishi Leo, 1959. Now these, I think I saw one or two of these before also. 1949. 1955, gee. Okay, yeah, they look a bit different. <laughs> There's a sneak preview, guys. Next, uh, 1964 Mini Car. Mini Car. Um, there you go. 1965 Mini Car. This one is a different body shape, light van. Light van, okay, there's got a little four seater, there's a back seat there. Uh, Mini Cab. Wow, is that a. A K truck certainly is 359 cc's. Never seen one of those before. Interesting. Next mini car. Now these, they sort of start to look sort of cool around this this era. I think 1970. Ground Super Sports. A genuine sports sedan. Look at that, eh? That is a smart looking car. But if you want a performance car, well then you got to go. Orange, what do you reckon guys? Whoa. Sweet blacked out air intake, 1973 mini car skipper. I would love to have a close look at that, but I suspect I cannot touch it. Next is a debonair. Um, sort of looks Eastern European, just a guess. I think the meant the uh, designer was actually from Germany or somewhere I could be wrong now we get into the mid 60s Colts I saw one of these before too way back in uh, Kumamoto 1000 cc or thereabouts Colt 1968 now this has got a sort of unique uniquely styled rear I kind of like it I mean, if I was rocking up to a, a, a uh, nostalgic car show, I wouldn't really choose this one, but um, I appreciate the, the unique style. Okay, guys, what's next? I should have bloody looked. At a bloody sign! Colt 1200 Custom from 1968. Custom. Hmm. Um, different headlights, I'm sure. Okay, guys, now let's get to the, the good stuff. The stuff that I'm really, really pumped to see. And I was a bit shocked because uh, I didn't see it there and the lights were off. So, but anyway, here, here they are. 1969 Colt Galant A2GS. Now it's got those louver, louvered headlights. I'm digging that. I'm digging that a lot. Um, overhead cam, 1.5 litre engine, a best seller. That's what they say anyway. Um, Colt Galant Hardtop A2 Custom. What's different? 1970, 1969, so there's a year difference, and of course the, bo the body style is different. 
Mitsubishi's first stylish pillowless hardtop. Wow, it is too. I dig it. This is a car I would absolutely have in my garage. 1970 Galant GTO MR. Just absolutely perfect, no over fenders. Steel rims. Wow, I mean, that's what they used to look like. That's what they used to look like. That is smart. FTO, this is a cool car. This one has over fenders. Um, now I'm assuming they're factory over fenders. Still, they don't really fill out the, the wheels don't fill out the wheel arches, but um, certainly they had bigger wheels in mind, I think, post sale. But that is a car also that I like. Hmm. Okay. A Galant Lambda. Now, I cannot say Lambda. I'm not really good with my Latin. Um, but that is a smart looking car. I dig the color. That color suits it really well. Usually they're creamy, like a two-tone cream or two-tone cream and brown. This one is sweet. Um, yeah, also what known in the States as a Plymouth or and or a Dodge something. Okay, now here's a car that I have never seen in Japan. I have been waiting to see this car, especially a GSR version. Anyway, not yet. I don't see any yet. But um, I saw quite a few of these in Australia. Anyway, guys, they're very, very plain and white. 1975, also a car I have never seen in Japan. Now this one, I think people have mentioned that it does have that Mustang. 7123 Mustang look about it. It certainly does. It's a busy Colt, uh, Mirage, I should say, which I featured a um, the drag drag paint jobbed version the, uh, recently in a recent video. But uh, yeah, that, look at that, guys. Grocery Getter, black and white trim. Wow, wow. Four wheel drives. Um, no, let's. Uh, okay. Let's skip the four-wheel drives, guys. Let's get to the good stuff. Okay, we've got Rally, Mr. Andrew Cowan and John Bryson. Australia, Rothmans Rally, Southern Cross Rally, Australia. Race trim. Some extra water bottles, gutted interior toolbox. Yeah, digging that. Oh, on the uh, passenger side, of course, the navigator would have to have access, some, access to some stuff, so there's extra gauges and whatnot going on there. Very, very cool GS model. Big ass spotties. And guys, there it is. What is it? 300 GSR Rally. That is a smart looking car. Um, number 46, which rally? Do we know which rally? Kenya. Nairobi, Kenya, East African Rally. That is cool. Starion. Hey, wow. I have never seen a Starion like that. Um, Galant VR4 World Rally Championship 1992. Um, gee, that's a spotty. Okay, now let's get into some four-wheel drives. The last few is just Pajeros. Um, no doubt these are Pajeros of note. And if, if they're not dusty, they've certainly got a dusty tinge to them. Hmm. Okay, well, I think we're almost done. There's a few race cars playing. Pajero, Off-Road Express. That sounds direct and off-road. Willie's memorabilia, engine, double overhead cam, please do not touch. Geez, thanks for the information about the engine. What's that about? Okay guys, well, that is a quick walkthrough of the Mitsubishi Auto Gallery in Okazaki. I do recommend you check it out. Now I'll be walking around for the next, probably, about an hour uh, taking photos and doing video, uh, videos on my good camera. So uh, thanks guys, hope you're all well, see you.